Hello, welcome to our video on how to remove manifolds and risers from a Mercury's V6 or V8 engine. Now before we get started we need to run through a few safety points. Remember, manifolds and risers are heavy, so you don't want to drop them on your foot, so open toed footwear is a big no-no. Wear strong shoes or boots and ideally have a friend on hand to assist with any heavy lifting. So, in addition to having an instruction manual, we also recommend having a few basic tools and consumables on hand. A flat screwdriver, rubber mallet, a ratchet and socket. For this application we used 14mm, but some applications do vary. We also recommend a scraper for cleaning the faces when refitting, and some emery cloth to give them that good clean finish. Right, let's get started. We're working on this engine out of the boat, so access was a bit easier. However, we will assume that your engine is inside the boat. First job is to undo the two hose clips on the upper rubber. These are next to the cast aluminium exhaust elbow. Then we need to undo the two clips on the riser end. This should release the rubber connector from the unit completely. Now we take our socket and remove the four nuts on top of the riser itself. When removing the studs it may be necessary to break the gasket seal by tapping the riser side to side with a mallet. We do recommend that you use a rubber mallet for this. It's the right tool for the job and should not damage your cast exhaust components. The best way we find to remove the studs is to use two of the nuts that are locked against each other on the top thread. You should be able to easily wind the studs out of the manifold. Once the studs are out, you can then slide the riser forward off the manifold in the direction away from the aluminium exhaust bend. We recommend this because in most boats there is just not enough clearance to get them out vertically, so you have to do it this way. It's not the easiest of jobs in the world in a lot of installations, but persevere because you can do it. Once risers are off and cleared out of the way, it's time to undo the manifolds. On this V8 application, there are four bolts. Undo the outer ones first. If you leave the outer ones until last, it will pivot down. Bear in mind that these things do weigh about 20 kilos each. You don't want to trap your hand in there. So leave one of the centre bolts in until the end. You need to make sure that the manifold is well supported. This is where your friend with the extra pair of hands comes in very useful. Once the manifold is off, you need to remove the gasket and clean the face up. You need a good sharp scraper. When you've got all the old gasket off, use some emery cloth to finish it off cleanly. Now you're ready to fit your new manifolds. Fitting is just the opposite of removal. A few points to remember. All installations are different, so it's worth just checking what is attached to your exhaust before starting. Quite a lot of units do have the ignition interrupt mechanism bolted to one of the risers, so obviously this needs to be removed before starting. It's a fairly simple operation, you can leave it all connected up, just unbolt it and lay it to one side. Likewise, you might find some electrical or power steering components bolted onto your manifold. So there you have it. Now it's time to have a nice cuppa, have a read of our blog and on our website where you'll be able to find lots of top tips on how to maintain and repair your engine and boat. Thank you for watching.